Oh, hello. Yes, I also have known the camel toe for many, many years. I remember when she was first doing her tricks down on 3rd Street with the other ones, but she was the tiny one that was trying to learn the ropes and she was so frustrated. She's like confused. And they had to have two or three of the local horror beaches to just get her to understand the basics. But once she understood, oh, she was a natural. She was a go-getter. They called her the Marathon Camel Toe Slap It Upon You. She made all of her customers a jizz upon themselves so fast that she was making double the profit because they would not last very long. She was not that sore. She was just popping here and there and collecting the cash and moving up the ladder like she was a had some kind of obsession to be in some big house of whiteness. And I was like, but you're with all the dark people to become in a big house with the white? I just do not understand what your motivation is. But she had the motivation, yes indeed. And now they got the, the big white house upon the, the top house of the, the top presidential houses and such. That was her goal back then when she was just a little street corner whore. And then she met the, the big Willie, uh, you know, Brown Willie. Brown Willie taught her the ropes about how to lie and, and cheat, steal, and get the kickbacks from the rich people. Or you can be on the board of this and that for the crazy money. We only meet once a month, and that's to drink tequila, and you can do all of your little bobbing of apples and such like that. And she's like, I don't even have to do it that often. Once a month? I just like, I, how many people? The whole room or just three of you? Or I just, And it kept on being higher price and, and more cash and, and just less, less. And she's like, well, this is easy street, bitches. And I thought, yes. And so that's why I'm her manager now on the sidelines. So I'm living large and, and even I have assistance now. It is crazy. America is great.